United Flight 232 was on its way from Denver to Chicago, the first scheduled stop on the trip to Philadelphia, when the tail engine of the huge DC-10 blew apart, damaging the hydraulic system that ran through the tail. The plane was without proper steering or flaps, and the pilots struggled to bring it into the closest airport, which happened to be in Sioux City, Iowa. They almost made it. A wing dipped as the plane was making its final approach, and the fiery, tumbling aftermath was captured on film by a local TV cameraman. 111 of the 296 passengers were killed in the crash landing, although the deft crew and pilot, a former Marine pilot, survived. I mean, the impact was incredible when, when we lost the engine. I mean, it was as if you absolutely hit something. And uh, we knew we were in trouble then, but we thought we had two other engines. We didn't know that the second engine had gone also. If that's true, number three could actually uh, produce shrapnel, which then was ingested in number two, and you could knock out two engines.